In this video, I'm going to make a LinkedIn profile completely from scratch using great free online tools that will help you optimize your LinkedIn profile. Now, as you might already know, LinkedIn is a search engine, just like Google. So if you know what information you should and should not include, your profile becomes more visible to the public, thus leading to more career opportunities. Furthermore, recently revealed data shows that if you include a link in your resume, to a comprehensive LinkedIn profile, it can increase your chances by 71% for getting an invitation to an interview. Now without further ado, let's get started. I've removed all of my content for the sake of this video and the first thing I would like to do is upload a LinkedIn profile picture. We need a picture where I look directly at the camera and half of my body is showing. Upload it to this website called Remove PG or Remove Background. Alright, so now the background is transparent, we click on download and go to another free tool called Canva. Register an account to get access and so you can create a design. And then we click on custom size. The recommended dimensions for a LinkedIn profile picture are 400 times 400. But if you want to avoid losing pixels when zooming in, you'd better pick 1600 by 1600. Okay, upload the transparent picture. And while it's being uploaded, I would like to search for some nice background design in the elements tab. And this one looks cool. So let's add it and change the gradient style to some other colors. After that, we include our transparent picture. Now, if you right mouse click, you can choose whether to bring a certain shape or background to the front and vice versa. All right, that looks fine. And then we download it as a PNG file. Go to the LinkedIn profile page, click right here and upload the picture. Save the photo and there we go. Okay, so right now we need to upload a profile background or LinkedIn banner. Now you need to think about the story you want to tell and be creative in how you choose to convey it. Let me show you some great examples. Now this one is from Georgia and she used the banner for sharing her personal statement, which is great for personal branding. And she also matched the color combination of her profile picture and banner. Or what about this one from Aaron Cordova? The banner illustrates his job role and affinity with coding. Now if you want to get started, just enter free LinkedIn banners in the search engine and you will find some great websites that offer free examples. Now I noticed some beautiful banners related to tech on this website. And I really like this one. So let's download the sample. Now, Canva also offers some beautiful free LinkedIn banners. Let me show you. Just enter LinkedIn banner and many examples pop up. Use the elements, text and styles tab if you want to be creative and tailor it to make your background stand out. Okay, so let's add a background photo. Okay, and apply. Okay, so that brings us to the LinkedIn intro section. Click on this pencil icon to get access. And right here, you need to enter your name and surname. And then you need to enter a headline, which is the most visible section of your LinkedIn profile. And key for making a positive impression, informing viewers about your area of expertise, but it is also a place to put an emphasis on keywords that potential employers seek for. Let me remove this headline and start with your job title. And if you are employed, the company name, followed by some hard skills, and at last, a brief sentence on what you do. Now, if you are still a student, you can add a LinkedIn headline that looks like these ones. Okay, now click on save and it is added to your intro. Now go back because over here you can add your educational background. Now start with the school or university, your degree, field of study, and the start, end or expected date. I skip information about kindergarten or junior schools you've attended. And once finished, we click on save and an education section is added to our profile. Now, if the degree is relevant to your profession, for example, if you apply for a software engineering position, then a computer science degree contributes to your profile. And in that case, you can also choose to enable show education in my intro. You see, now, a common mistake users make is entering the wrong location settings. For example, if you study in New York but eventually want to work and live in San Francisco, then you'd better enter the US and San Francisco's postal code. And select, in this case, 
the Bay Area. Now by doing so, your profile pops up to potential employers that seek candidates in that region. Okay, now click on save and it is now added to your LinkedIn intro section. Go back one last time because we need to go to the contact information. It is important to create a unique profile URL for higher rankings. Click the Me drop down menu, View Profile, Edit Public Profile and URL, click the pencil icon and change it accordingly. At last, click on Save. Okay, next up, I want to include a summary to increase the visibility of my profile. Now, click on Add Section, About, and Summary. Now, let me enter a great sample template. Now, as you can see, I chose a short and sweet summary, which is a smart choice for professionals in a conservative or technical industry. I've included my job title, years of experience, some hard skills, and industry keywords. Uh, these influence the searchability of your LinkedIn profile. Although it's important to use keywords, don't go overboard. LinkedIn's algorithm can tell when you are trying to game the system. Also, do you notice how I talk in first person and keep the number of passwords and adjectives like strategic, experienced, passionate, and expert, etc. to the minimum? Furthermore, those who read your summary are most likely curious to find more about you. And that's when these links come in handy. Okay, next up we have the Featured section. Now, in this section you can showcase work samples that represent your professional identity. Think of LinkedIn posts or articles you've created or reshared, external blogs, or like in my case, a recently created YouTube video. I haven't created any relevant LinkedIn posts, so let me scroll down to Activity and click on Start a Post. Over here I enter a YouTube link to my previous video about making a free CV template. And once it's rendered, I delete the link and click on post. Let me view the post, okay. And after that you can choose to feature it on your profile. It certainly gives your profile some credibility and exposure to those who come across your profile. Next up we need to add some background information and most importantly, the work experience section. We need to highlight your key achievements. Now let me enter the job title. Okay, and then the employment type, company name. And if you add this one, the company's logo appears on your profile and you will then show up as an employee who works or work there, depending on the start and end date you configure. As for the description, I enter around two or three lines to give the reader an overview of what the job entails. And I would like to list some of the results. That way, you bring impact and purpose to your experiences. I would suggest you to use action verbs at the beginning of each sentence. Action verbs like collaborated, narrowed, reduced, and increased. Furthermore, do you notice how I quantified my experiences? A measurable metrics illustrate someone's value and it also drags the reader's attention. You can also upload or link supporting information. I think of a PowerPoint presentation, PDF, or screenshot that support what you wrote in the description. If you want, you can share it with your network. And at last, we click on save. Okay, that brings us to the skills section. We need to add some relevant skills. Now for those that are job searching, I would suggest you to strategically use keywords that relate to the position you are after. So start off by copying the vacancy description. Go to the free word cloud generator, paste it right in there and click on generate cloud. Now sprinkle some of these keywords to match and improve the searchability of your profile. LinkedIn members with five or more skills listed are 33 times more likely to get messaged by recruiters and receive 70 times more profile views. But remember, the key here is to stay relevant. The skill sections should substantiate your headline and summary. A long list of skills can start to feel unwieldy and doesn't encourage endorsements for a specific skill set of yours. Now, LinkedIn's algorithm rewards users with complete profiles. So you are far more likely to show up in the search results with an all-star profile. Now, the only thing left for us to do is adding two more skills and we are done. So right now we have an all-star profile, but there are still some smaller sections left. Take for example the accomplishments section and subsections or the additional information section, which is basically requesting LinkedIn connections for recommendations. Now, these will then be featured on your profile. And if you want an interest section at the bottom of your profile page, you simply follow some companies or people that inspired you. 
and relate to your professional background. And by doing so, you can fully use LinkedIn to tell a story and build a personal brand. Lastly, I also want to emphasize the importance of configuring your profile settings to let hiring managers know that you are open to work. Simply click on Open To, finding a new job, and add the information to your profile. Now, if you don't want your current employer to find out about it, you can enable for recruiters only. Okay, so before I end this video, let me know if this video was informative by leaving an emoji with classes underneath. And if you still have some questions, leave a comment down below and I'll respond as soon as possible. Now, don't forget to check out my other videos on how to make a CV and cover letter. You can find the links in the description. Now, if this video was helpful, then a like and subscribe is greatly appreciated. Thanks again for watching and see you next time. Bye!